Hi, so in this equation we have a flywheel rotates with an angular velocity of omega equal to 4 theta to the power 1 half. So this is angular velocity with respect to angular position in radian per second where theta is in radians. Determine the time it takes to achieve an angular velocity of omega 150 radian per second when time equals 0, theta equals 1 radian. So here we will write down what is given. Here we are told that we have an angular velocity relationship with respect to angular displacement for the square root of theta. In here we are given initial conditions when the initial time is equal to zero theta initial is equal to one radian and here we are given that at t final that's what we want to find we don't know what is t f uh, the final position here and at t final from the problem statement the omega which were which the angular velocity that we achieved is equal to 150 radian per second so to find theta in here so here let's find theta theta uh, now we know that the angular velocity is so this one will be 150 equal to 4 times the square root of theta so our goal in here is to find what is theta so it will be 150 divided by 4 equal to the square root of theta to get rid of the theta we will square both sides of the equation so that 2 will cancel the square root so 150 divided by 4 to the power uh, 2 that will be theta will equal to 1406.25 radian so here we found the final position which is 1406.25 so here we want to find the time so let's write the kinematic equation for the angular velocity of the flywheel. So the angular velocity of the flywheel is delta theta divided by delta t. So let's move delta t to the other side of the equation. Delta t will be delta theta over omega. Now delta theta divided by omega is given to us as 4 square root of pi 4 square root of theta here we will move 4 to the other side so it will be 4 times delta t equal to delta q over square root of theta so what we can do here is we can take the integration so when we integrate this side and integrate this side so this will be delta theta divided by square root of theta the time starts from zero until the time that we want to find the final time that's what we want to find when time is zero we're given that in the radian 
the initial position is one radian and we found that at time final that we want to find the f the position is 1406.25 radian so here we can rewrite this 4 will exit the integration from 0 to t delta t equal to from 1 to 1406.25 and we can rewrite this as theta to the power of minus 1 half delta theta so right here what, what we will do minus 1 half plus 1 is, is 1 half positive 1 half divided by 1 half and we can flip it so that will be 4 times t from 0 to t equal to this one will be 2 theta to the power 1 half from 1 till 1406.25 so this one will be 4 t equal to 2 times the difference which is 1406.25 square root minus the square root of 1 4t will equal 2 so when you plug this into your calculator it will give you 73 so here we will solve for time so it will be 73 divided by 4 so here time will equal to 18.25 seconds so here we, able, we are able to find the final time which is 18.25 thank you very much have a good one